Okay, welcome to this to uh, video number five, where we're going to cover sequential path, critical path, and finally adding some resources in. Sequential path we've already done when we did our dependencies or our predecessors, and then you can see the um, sequence of things happening. This is called a sequential path. One job falls on from another job. Can't be done unless previous jobs been assigned. So that's our sequential path. Our critical path is basically our timeline. This is our, our wind of the project. Anything that goes beyond the 17th of July is considered outside of the project. The project's overrun. Um, and the idea is for projects not to overrun. And that's why we use Microsoft Project and we use Gantt charts for that specific reason, to make sure our projects are on task. And if deadlines move, then we can move them within the project. So to, 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 for the sake of the assignment and taking the screenshot, you need to go to View and More Views and pick Detailed Gantt Chart. When you apply, apply that, you'll see the red, which are the critical paths. Take a screenshot of that and there you have your critical paths. Again, the timeline is really the critical path. So that was View, More Views, and you picked detailed. Now we'll go back to Gantt chart and we're back to our original view. So there's the sequential paths and that was a critical path. The last thing we want to do is assign resources. If you've got resource names down here, we need to add resources. So to do that, we need to go to tools and assign resources. And this is where we can add resources. So what resources do we have in our project? Well, we've got eKitchen installer. We've also got a driver. And we've also got a painter. There's three resources uh, that we've used in this project. Um, uh, we'll stick with those three for this example. Now that I've entered those, I can close my project. So who do, who do I assign what job to? That's what a resource is. So the kitchen installer, I can go to, I can go to um, resources. So we've used predecessors, we've used advanced. We now need to use resources. And when I click the box, I now get a drop down. Because I originally went to tools and added resources, they're there. This is the kitchen installer, so I can add him in. Now you could add a cost to him, and then if it was fifty pound per day, then it would be it would automatically calculate the cost. So you can see now I've got kitchen installer as a resource. Um, the truck arrives. That's going to be the driver. So I can put driver against that, and again there could be a daily cost. Um, equally, order the painter. And he needs five days, so I can I can click the drop down box, and there's the painter. So for the assignment there, <clears throat> you can take a screenshot showing these added in, but I'd also like you to put a screenshot of you showing your <clears throat> your resources there. <clears throat> so that's an ideal screenshot for your assignment, and so there you have your how to do your critical path, your sequential path, and your assigning resources. And you can see the resources are down the side here. And you just need to finish now and carry on assigning resources to your projects. Um, thank you very much for that video.